Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate how to draw a lab sample from a catheter. And um, I don't know if you noticed, but I've just finished dialysis and I've just literally stopped the cycler. So now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to exchange the line, get my arterial line ready. First, I'm going to clamp the arterial line, reach over. Grab my saline from the uh, red line. And then now I'm going to swap out I wish I could show you uh, just what I did. What basically what I did was um, swap out the red line with the um, syringe that I had in there. So now I'm going to get my vacutainer ready. It's got two parts. This first part over here, twist it out, pull it out, throw it away, insert it into the vacutainer. Pull. Now I'll take my arterial line, put it into the arterial line, and I've got my collection tube for the uh, blood sample. Stick it into the vacutainer, open the clamp, and the blood automatically dispenses into the tube. It goes in there by vacuum and it'll stop on its own. And when I'm done collecting, I just simply reclamp my red line, remove the tube, and set that aside. So now, I got my saline again. Remove the vacutainer, throw it into the sharps. Put the saline back in, and now I'm ready for rinse back. Just wanted to verify that my clamps are open. And they're open. And now I'm rinsing back. So, while I rinse back, I just simply flush my red line. While I'm thinking about it, I'm going to unhook myself. So now the machine is rinsing back my blood and this is my blue line. It's still connected. The blood's going to go back in there and uh, when this thing turns color to roughly the same color as a cherry 7-up or something like some sort of strawberry soda. Um, that's when I stop the rinse back and it's going to take a while so hold on. So this is the color I'm looking for, and I've just stopped the machine. So now I'm ready to swap out the lines again, and I start by clamping my blue line. Grab the saline from the machine, and exchange it. Now, rinse my blue line. So now I'm ready to add my heparin, just like before. When you're taking yourself off the machine, you gotta add the heparin. Start with my red line, 
1.7. Push that one in. And here's the 1.8. Goes in. Now, just like before, we're going to prepare the caps. And my sponge that I've got pre wetted with alkalis. that I do, which is to put it in here because it's clean and my bib is dirty because I just collected a blood sample, but you know, you got to keep these things clean. I just made the effort to clean the whole thing and I don't want it dirty again. So here we go. Last one. Again, now I'm finally going to wrap it up. Got my uh, larger sponge. Very carefully. Open it up. Put my catheters in there. Close it up. Fold it like an envelope or letter or whatever. Grab my tape. Tape it up. And that's that. That's how you do labs after the end of dialysis. Thanks.